In the bedroom, the key things that I'm looking for are whether a person can physically manage in the space, such as getting in and out of the bed, reaching for items they need from storage areas, and if they can reach and manage things like handles, light switches, and reach down to plugs or into wardrobes. The bedroom is a space, and I am often concerned about how the person uses the space. I'm always interested to see and hear how the person manages their nighttime toilet routine and safety considerations, including how much sleep and the quality of the sleep they feel they are getting. I'll also look at dressing and undressing, as this is often done in the bedroom. Okay, Rosemary, so you mentioned that you go to the toilet during the night. What lights do you leave on or use uh, to guide your way? Well, I like to leave the toilet and the hall lights on, but I'm afraid I sometimes forget. Rosemary is physically capable of getting into bed and is able to roll, but moving from sitting to standing is difficult. I've also seen that reaching down low below knee height to touch her feet, a plug or access switches near the floor is challenging. So I wonder if it is her balance, flexibility or lower leg strength that is causing her difficulties. I would like Rosemary to see a physiotherapist to assess this as well as conduct a further occupational therapy assessment to look at environmental changes or equipment that could assist her in the bedroom. Nighttime safety is very important and lighting, low clutter, clear pathways are important for this. As the occupational therapist, these require further input to work on strategies that work for Rosemary and how she likes to live. Thank you for showing me the bedroom, Rosemary. Shall we have a look at the kitchen area now? Good idea, we'll go and have a cuppa. Sounds great.